Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Let me just say this before we start the show. We have tonight to bowl. So I don't even want to tell you what I did last night. Because it's not even... It don't even matter. Should I just lay in the corner and cry? I'm yeah, not even going to say matter. that. So we got another chance. I said yesterday I would tell you my gambling escapade on the boat. And yesterday it was chicken fried steak for lunch. If you forgot. Oh, it's you always chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak, steak Wednesday. I'll put, it, I'll put it in there. I did it when you left. I did it for us. Anyway, you know how I gamble. Mm-hmm. Not well. <laughs> Not patient. But you don't, you very rarely lose much money. Right. If I you, start you won't to lose, lose you, yeah. I'm done. Well, I'm up. On the boat, they, you can gamble. So I'm up. I play roulette. And then usually if I ever play dice, it's when they're around. But I play roulette. I play the same second 12. I never varied. So I did very good this time. Okay. Played the second 12. Played 17 and 20 around the edges. 2 and 32. I never played another number. Gotcha. And I was hitting. It was hitting. I was hitting. And when I'm saying I'm playing a lot, I'm playing dollar chips, by the way. So it's not a lot. So I'm up. I'm up. I have made $400. Okay. Gracie, hush. Dog's barking. So that paid for all. We'd go into town. Stephanie'd buy crap and all this. I'd be like, and, and me, I'm in my head going, okay, man, I brought all this, I brought this money, so I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, Still ahead. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Next day, bam, I win another $200. We're getting ready for dinner on Saturday. I'm sorry. We're getting ready for dinner on Wednesday. And I go, I got $300 in my pocket. We're supposed to go to dinner. We're at the little margarita bar or whatever, or martini bar. I said, you know what? Let me walk over here to the casino across the hall. Walk over there. I see it ain't hit the second 12. I go, you, you know should what? play it then. I'm going to play the second 12. High roller that I am, I go ahead and pull out that 100 I'd won earlier and laid it on the table. And I thought I was James Bond. I put it down there and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Because people are like, oh, he put $100. You popping your own collar. He put $100. I was like, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, how, how you doing? All right, loser. I'm like, oh, it's. <laughs> I do drag. it again. Drag. I do it again. Lose. What'd you do? Do it again. Lose. I lost $300 in three rolls. And then you <sighs> felt like a dumbass. Oh, you can't. I still feel like it. <laughs> Why did I, if I would have, if I, if I would have just waited till after dinner, which we were going to play for a little while and played the same way I've been playing, I'd have probably won another hundred dollars in a couple hours and had fun doing it. But no, I got to try to high roll it, big baller it. But when I do it in Vegas, in Nasbury, I hit, I play that hundred, it hits. I put that 300 in my pocket, move on. Why is that? Why am I such a bad gambler? You're not a bad gambler. Just you got caught up in the moment. It happened on Ballers the other night. You watching Ballers? No. Happened on Ballers the other night. You're going to watch them all at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you aren't a gambler. So you get caught up in the moment. Yes, good call. I am a gambler, and I will... Steady the course and stay yes. the course and try to take eight hours to get there. Yes. <clears throat> the only time I mess up is when something's cold, like like your I, second 12 was. And for some god-awful reason, I think I could change it. That's what that, I you know what? I know it's coming. I and know. if I play it, it's going to come on. <clears throat> and what's the worst part of it all? What happens when you walk off and then you walk back over and look? It hits. You got it hits. dang mother beeping right. But <sighs> casinos run about ninety million dollars a month. They said it on Ozark. I'm just gonna go with that. I like it. So that means you don't normally win very big. You may win a little, but at the end of the day, you will lose. You will if you play like I did, you will lose. And I had it in the palm of my hand. Gambling is Indian for lose. <laughs> you know that? I did not know that. The, is that true? Yeah. Somebody looked that up. Chris Holt. No, I wouldn't look it up. K-Boy. Just go with it. Because he got Let's your go Bob Seeger on Monday. I, I think in, it's in the Indian word for will lose <laughs> your ass. Oh, I like to gamble. I'm not, I take that back. 
I like to play the chance to win. That's why I play the lottery. I don't, I play to wake up in the morning going, I got a chance. Right. I have a chance. Even if it's a dollar, I got a chance. You know, no different than, hey, I'll be. You had a better chance winning on them hundreds than you did the lottery. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But you can't win if you don't play. Dang right. Dang right. And I think you take that into life, too. Yeah, if you don't try, you ain't. I mean, if yeah, if you don't, if you don't have goals, which his goal was to hit that second twelve. That was my goal. <clears throat> you won't, you won't have a chance to miss it or to hit it. And it is, it is funny that the way I was playing was winning, but I got to that point where <laughs> I don't think I can lose, <laughs> dog. Let me just tell you right now. Well, <laughs> I, I think it was more of your athletic. I lost. Let's play again. You dang right. Let's play again. Yeah. Instead of just going, I'm gonna play this hundred this one time, y'all. If I lose, I'm going to dinner. It was the, I can beat your ass. Oh, I lost. Well, we gotta play again. Me and you. We're playing I, again. Check it up. I wish you could have seen me put that money down. <laughs> Cause I'd had a few drinks. I wish you could have seen me like this. Cause you know how you step away from I the table. I can see you. I have seen uh, the move. Mm -hmm. The I can't lose. Move. Why couldn't they feel me doing that? That's when I wish I was in. We were in Vegas. We I gave him. He went. I didn't give him. He goes. I got forty dollars. I'm into this tournament, this poker tournament. And I went. Okay. And he played for. He played for six, eight hours. Yeah. It was long he got long. down to the last couple of tables before you got into the money. And of I, course. And then somebody just played, play, 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 play. And I went, dude. I'd have had to go all in on the second hand. And there's the difference. And I want to know. It don't have to be gambling. But are you a good, are you a wise gambler or are you a greedy gambler? Because I became greedy. I was wise at first and I messed it up. I do not think you can win gambling unless you are patient and and start think, out with and think things through. I agree. And start out with more money. Or play with borrowed money. Play with borrowed money. I always borrow your friend's money to yeah. play with. I think you that way if you lose, yeah, you kind of eat it. I think your dad said this one time. We were, we were at his bar coming through. I think he said this before he loaned us money to get out of the gambling and out of the casino in Louisiana. When he went, take the money that you want to lose and go gamble. Because if you're taking money to go win, you're going to lose it anyway. Yeah. And I'll never forget that. Take money you want to lose. Damn it, I didn't want to lose that. Why did I do that? Man, I don't want to knock on wood, but we've been pretty lucky other than that one time. We're we're pretty smart enough to go. All right, we've had enough. Yeah, I, I after that, and I didn't even. I came back that night and I played just a little bit. Didn't win any. Broke even. Played for about two hours and I went. I'm done. And I didn't gamble anymore, because I was so frustrated at my stupid move. Gosh, I wish y'all could have seen me. I was like this. <laughs> How my cooler light like? like. <laughs> yeah. It's just a hundred. Don't worry about it. And inside, I'm like, please hit, please hit, please hit. <laughs> what for lunch today? Oh, God, man, I hate being a know. piece it's of Thursday. Money. Let's see here. <sighs> Thursday is chicken, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and green beans for eight dollars. Woo wee! And we got to go up on our price. I That's too that. cheap. I agree with that. And then, of course, tomorrow is always the catfish basket grilled or fried. One thing I wanted to ask before we go, one thing I want to ask is if you could add, and don't, be, don't do nothing stupid, if you could add one item, one item to our menu, maybe it's just a lunch special one day, or brunch or anything. Or brunch. What would it be? So, like, Dwayne, if Big D hits on there and goes, hey, man, I'd like a meatloaf macaroni salad, and we made it, that'd be the Big D lunch special that day. Gotcha. Let us know what it one deal. I'm not saying we'll do it. Let me know. Gracie's telling me right now she wants something. We're going to get out of here, man. Until Monday, I am Russ. This is Chris.